Hey, Carrie. For some defenses, obviously being non undisciplined, facing a mobile quarterback is an issue. Would you say that's been an issue at all, or is that something you guys need to work on going forward, facing mobile quarterbacks? Uh, we just have to be conscious. You know, we have to have GPSs with our rushes and just – you just know that it's possible. You know he can get out and, and make a play. So we just have to run, you know, rush with some awareness. So on that same topic, uh, your your d- defensive line is known for being aggressive and, and pushing up field. Is it hard to balance that philosophy when you are facing a, a read option quarterback uh, who might be taking advantage of that? Uh, you just you, your senses just gotta be heightened a little more. You know, you know that they can make plays with their legs. Just, just accounting for another running back or something like that. So, like I mentioned before, we just gotta have just more awareness with rushing the passer and, um, and just player techniques, and it'll take us to the ball. Hey, Carrie, you, I, this quote that stood out to me: you said you have to have GPS in your rushes. Is that something that Chris Kasarek, uh kind of stresses? And, and does he have any other? sayings like that to make sure that the rush is disciplined? Uh, that's a t- it's really a team thing. You know, we know that it's always possible for the quarterback to run out, and we never want to, you know, just give up easy first downs or easy, like, runs like that. So just as a pass rusher and as a D lineman, it's just something we're always working on. Hey, Kerry, obviously you wouldn't have, you know, w- wish injuries ahead of, you know, to guys ahead of you to give you this opportunity, but – you know, that's what happened. You do have it. You're playing really well. I mean, um, just on a personal level, uh, what has this been like, uh, you know, to have this chance and, um, you know, to be performing like you ha- have been? Um, you know, it's unfortunate what happened. I'm just really trying to just lock in, you know, and just do what I can for the team. And right now this is my role, and I'm just trying to do it to my best of my abilities. Gary, something that came up the other day was uh, a lack of execution at a high level in the game, and Fred Warner was just talking about it today and and everybody locking in a little bit more this week. Do you feel there was anything that was preventing people from doing that before, and do you see a difference in the team um, today? No, I think we're, I think we're, we're good. We're going to attack, attack our issues, and we're going to just get better for the next week. You know, we, uh, we understand we had some lapses in the game, and we know what those issues were, and we're attacking them and going forward. Hey, Kerry, before you were a 49er, you played inside and out. And I just want to know, playing alongside Eric Armstead, who, who does the same thing for the 49ers, what have you learned playing next to Eric, and how would you assess his performance this season? I mean, he's a great player, man. Just to be next to him and just work with him. And he's uh, his mind for the game is phenomenal. He, he kind of knows the plays before they happen and that kind of thing. So just being able to be next to him helps my game tremendously.